And we're going to Uranus. And I'm imagining I'll be making a lot of butt jokes this playthrough. That's just the kind of guy I am. She does look like a fish. Lennon was right. It's a long journey to Uranus. In fact, it's so treacherous I had to take a magic school bus to Uranus. The fuck? Oh, it's a magnetic field. Never mind. Makes sense. I think there's a, like a way you can look at those photos. Um, and it's supposed to tell you about them somewhere, but I never bothered with that noise. Bothered with that noise. Hmm. I just realized in this playthrough I haven't been like saying, "Welcome to part four, welcome to part five, all that stuff." I've been going a lot more casual. And I like that right now. I feel like the Magic School Bus in Space is a casual going game. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about the photo, Lizzie the Lizard. I mean, I'll take it if I see it, but. Do cameras even work in space? I mean, I know telescopes work, obviously, because we've seen some purely, like, awe-inspiring photos, actually. Check them out if you ever want to feel minuscule about your place in this universe. Look at uh, some awesome space photos. But, uh... Like, I'm assuming they're in the bus, they're using, like, a... I don't know, like a Kodak throwaway. Because... Don't forget, this is supposed to be like a field trip for these kids, I think, right? Or does she just abduct kids and take them to her magic school bus? If so, this is a villain that must be stopped. Oh my god, she's taking me to Uranus. Help me. I don't want to go to Uranus. You know, sometimes eight-year-old humor is the way to go. And we're going to do it all the way to Uranus. It's hazardous drive to Uranus, like I said earlier. No, there's asteroids in the way. On the path to Uranus. It's rocky on the path to Uranus. I saw a nebula on the way to Uranus. Why wasn't I cranking up my speed, by the way? I just have to ask my past self. See, I actually lined that. There we go. You can do it, buddy. Also, the funny thing is, why are all these trips starting from Earth? Like, do they have to go back to Earth to refuel every single time? Because that's horribly inefficient space traveling. But we made it to Uranus safely. Didn't think we would for a while. I have to land on the clouds of Uranus? What a joke. I'm wildly falling down, Uranus. I'm looking for the landing platform at Uranus. My magic school bus is in Uranus's atmosphere. Should have said the atmosphere of Uranus. Would have sounded nicer. Oh no, that platform's hidden deep in Uranus. Alright, I'll try to cut it back. <laughs> There's electricity in Uranus. Alright. I don't know, this might be the hardest landing job. Fitting it should be at Uranus. I'm sorry, it's just, it's, it's come so naturally. It's like... You can, hey, 
Hey, Rolls, crack jokes about some shit you've been cracking jokes about for, like, fucking 16 years. But, you know, it's funny. But I've landed safely on Uranus. The clouds of Uranus, anyway. So, we can all rest easy and take a breath. <coughs> a sigh of relief. Or breathe a sigh of relief. I have to walk on Uranus? How fun. See, this isn't for side-scrolling like Saturn was, so... I'd be surprised if I don't turn the jets on here a little bit. Here I go. Here I go! Always use the map. Yeah. Those balloons have a mind of their own. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So much shit just happened there real quick. I'm a little mesmerized, honestly. I'm done with walking on Uranus. The shuffle for Uranus. Okay, this is really childish of me, I know. But in that picture there, in the one I'm assembling, of uh, Uranus with its moon, um, I know it's Uranus, technically, but fuck off. I'm, fuck you, I'm having fun. Um, the fact that there's a moon right in the center of it really makes me think like one of the programmers was making a butt joke. See, there's a big black hole right in the center of Uranus. It's a butt joke, right? Come on. We can we can be adults here. I see what you did, Scholastic. I see what you did. Matching pairs for Uranus. Oh look at the horse head never looks like a horse head. We don't know it. I had to have forgotten that. There's no way that looks like a cross. Okay. Now things are becoming clear. Walk Jim. Remember the password, kids. Alright, to Neptune. The coolest planet, in my opinion. I don't know, I just like Neptune. I like the god of the sea. You know, all that cool stuff. The journey will be a long one, however. That kind of driving makes your head spin? What, good driving? The fuck are you talking about, lady? Listen, if you don't like my bus, you can just get the fuck off. Right in space. Don't worry, we're still pretty close to Earth. You'll be picked up on the next go-round, I'm sure. Maybe you'll learn yourself some manners. You know, this whole time, I've still been trying to solve the mystery of the life bars there. I don't think anything happens. I'll, like, make a mental, a complete mental note of it to watch as we take off for Pluto. But, uh... Yeah, there's no way I took that much damage on the way here, and... 
you know. Oh, that's like, looks like the same amount of health I had after driving all the way to like Mars and Jupiter, so. Yeah, I call shenanigans Magic School Bus game. There's a cat in space, while it's still wagging its tail, it'll, it, it, it's frozen and dead. That's the space cat, in which case I'm terrified. Oh, more asteroids. What a shocker. It'll never stop shooting. You'll clear the way eventually. At least we're almost halfway there. The individual segments, while numerous, do go pretty fast, I feel. Unless you're, like, trying to crunch this video in before an important event or something. You know what I mean? Unless you're... Or, or a better way to say, unless you're watching, um, with not a lot of time on your hands to like relax, then you'd be like, "Oh, speed it up!" But otherwise, it's like this is bearable. What the fuck is that? Anybody comments? I don't know. You're supposed to teach me video game. I uh, know, I never even noticed the targeting reticle starts flashing. Or the crosshairs, if you don't like me saying targeting reticle. Flashes when you're on a target. That's interesting. So you're like, am I supposed to shoot the rocks that are coming at my vehicle? At a million miles an hour? Probably shoot them, right? Oh, these sections, these are numerous sections, though, like, these, are these the ones feel longer than the rest, the, uh, asteroid moments. At least they, they, they were smart not to drag it too long when you got to these later parts, you know? Which is appreciated by me. Because <laughs> it means I don't have to write down a lot of stuff to talk about. There's a moon some kind, I don't know. Find an up to complete it. Landing on the clouds of Neptune. Once again, it's another gas giant. It has the great blue spot, which I th think... If I'm recalling correctly, spins parallel to the rest of the storm clouds on the planet? I'm not sure. I know it's been going on for a while, as is the great red spot. But the blue spot isn't like. doesn't have the same amount of gravitas, like, and talk about. Unfortunately, I think Neptune's got the short end of the stick as planets go. You know what I mean? It's like, uh... Um, Mercury is close to the sun, which is close, if you remember that. Venus is poisonous, which you remember that. Earth is our planet. Moon is our moon. Mars is cool, because it probably used to hold life back in the day, and water and all that. Jupiter's the biggest and has the great red spot. Saturn has the iconic rings. Uh, Uranus slash Uranus is just funny to say. Um, Pluto is no longer a planet, as of my speaking of this recording for a few years now. Um, but it was the smallest and farthest away. Neptune is like in between those two. I mean, it's a pretty shade of blue, I think, but, uh, I'm not sure what its real, like, appeal to kids is beyond that.
So hard to do. <laughs> At least she gets out of the bus herself. You know what I mean? She doesn't mind getting getting her hands dirty. Miss Krendel. Fritz. Frizz. The Frizzer. Whatever, whatever her name is. Miss Frizzle, I think that's her name, right? I've just been doing different names for comedic effects this whole time. It amuses me. I'm not really sure what they were trying to... Trying to really, um... What's the word I'm looking for here? Promote... Uh, you're learning with, with these, uh, matching, not matching, but, like, uh, puzzle-type sections here. I get that it's good for you, like, to remember how things look and then place them back together. Like, that's probably... Short-term memory is an essential sk is a pretty much deadly essential skill that you need to have. But, um, uh, I don't know, I think the matching could probably get that across, but... Well, the pictures are kind of cool, I guess, and, uh, if I were a kid, I would think anyhow, you know? So, maybe I'm just overanalyzing the whole deal. Huzzah! Completion. Matching pairs for Neptune. See, look, they ran out of stuff to do. So they're giving you other planets. That's what I'm saying about Neptune not being super extraordinary. Or at least not perceived to be, you know? Definitely has the short end of the stick here. See, it really came to live here. Came to life here. Alright. Yoga! It's a password. So that's done. See you next time for the final.